The Philadelphia Marathon is underway right now on the Ben Franklin Parkway. Runners, they are pounding the pavement as they race 26 miles to the finish line. Eyewitness News reporter Rakesha Bailey is live on the parkway in the center of it all. Rakesha, they all left you. <laughs> Good morning, Howard. Oh, my goodness. This has been absolutely so amazing. You guys just saw the final wave hit the pavement and take on the city. An amazing city it is. And joining us is Kathleen Titus. You're still here with us. How are you feeling? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. When you get this 15,000 runners go off the vibe, it's a sports city all the way down to running the marathon. You know, it really is. And I could not believe it. We saw people dressed up in costumes. It's festive. It, they are. That You have everything from somebody in their Santa suit to a hot dog suit to we had our adaptive athlete, Chris Cook, who went out in his hockey jersey. Amazing. You know what? We've been talking to a lot of these runners, and they just say how beautiful this course is. Can you kind of walk us through what the runners are going to be seeing? Absolutely. The sun's coming up over City Hall, so they're going to go through the historic area. You're going to get to see all the iconic points. You're going to Chinatown all the way down to Penn's Landing, up South Street, all the way out through Rittenhouse Square, before they hit University City into our beautiful Fairmount Park. And then they'll hit that loop in Mattyum. The vibe in Mattyum today is epic. So they're going to get a chance to see all of that before coming back and fitting on Boathouse Row with that westerly wind right at their back. So fast finish. Oh, I, I can't even keep up with you, okay? Now, as a runner yourself, this weather, it's windy out here right now. Can you talk to us from a runner aspect as to what they're going to be dealing with in these elements? So right now it's coming, like I said, it's at the back. So we have that west wind coming in. You're going to pace yourself, be conservative. So they should be checking their times, their watch. You want to do the first half of the course a little bit slower, a little more conservative. Save that energy for the back half. As you heard, we've been saying hydrate, hydrate. You want to get that nutrition and that fluid in early so that on the back end you're able to finish strong, finish feeling fantastic. But, you know, you'll have the sun warm you up, but the wind will come and go. It'll push you. It'll pull you. You just kind of have your own you competition go. with it today. Can't leave. Thank you so much for being with us. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, and I need your energy, okay? We need her energy on the morning show. She's amazing. And you know how we're going to send it back to you in the studio because my hands are frozen at this point. <laughs> All right, go get warm, Rakesha. Thanks so much. And tell Kathleen I say hi.